found the uh, impellers come apart and you can see where it's been rubbing it's worn them grooves um, we're just going to melt those back together um, when they come apart they can jam the pump up and stop it washing that sits like that when the pump's fitted there so it sort of drops down under gravity and that's all back together um, heat a nail up with a uh, blow lamp and then uh, just melt the little pegs back that's uh, pretty much held on there now pump back on there, check the capacitor, that checked out okay. Now we have to cut the uh, um, Jubilee clips off of that. Somebody used normal steel ones and they should be, you want to use stainless on these things, so I've got a new one on there. Um, I've just come to check the level sense because I weren't sure that was working okay. And. Uh, can't do this two handed, but um, there we go. See, that's loose, so it's either broken or the, the thread's loose. And that lets the air pressure out from the tube. Um, it fills up with water around the outside, and the air pressure goes up. And that should make a little micro switch switch, but if it's leaking out around the threads, um, it might not ever go off on the level sensor. So we'll uh, take that apart and have a look. It's back on there now, I've resealed that with some of that um, true blue sealant. I was going to put some Loctite on there but um, when I read the uh, um, directions for it, um, it says not to use it on plastic parts so I was just, just about to use it and I, I vaguely remembered something about not using it on plastic. When I checked it said yeah, not, not recommended for plastic parts, so I've used that blue stuff I use on the feasible plugs. There's no pressure in there, so it's, you know. Right, I'll give it a try and see what happens. <laughs> 